What's up, everybody? I'm Ivor Abbott. We are here on Texas Motor Speedway, Bushido Series, Texas, to talk a little bit about the new competition that I'm going to be entering into, hopefully very shortly, once everything is announced. We are in the Slide Boys A90 Supra, VA-powered Supra, 700 and, I believe, 50, 60 horsepower. So we're going to be talking about it and getting some practice here today. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So like I said, we are in the A90 Supra, Sly Boys A90 Supra. There is going to be a tandem competition that my buddy Nate and I are going to be getting into, which is going to be using some modified Sly Boys cars. And I got the in to say that I should be practicing in the Supra to uh, for the feel and the power of the cars that are going to be coming in this competition. So you guys know I've been looking to get into a new competition, so a new competition that's going to be coming out. Super excited for all the information once it actually comes out. You know, I'll give you guys some more info. But for today, we're going to be testing this A90 Supra, getting back to trying to hit all the clips on a bunch of different tracks here for today. So we're going to start off first run here at Texas in the outer zone section. Fourth gear. E brake in a little bit longer than I wanted to e brake, a little bit off that outer zone. Kind of got back into it towards the end. Didn't really get into that zone. We did get deep into that zone and kind of right on there. A little handbrake flick into that zone, hold the angle, bring it back in nice and smooth on the steering, and finish out that run. So, overall, not a horrible run. It was kind of off on a bunch of the zones, but like I said, first shakedown of this car here on these tracks trying to get back to point to point drifting trying to get my lead run down so we're gonna try a couple of different tracks here some of the VDC tracks as well so there we go for another run then we'll take a look at the outside view faint initiation little handbrake flick much deeper in that zone we came off that zone way too early see if we can actually get the car out to this zone kind of clipping that zone a little bit Good deep in that zone, right on the hash marks there. A little e-brake flick there. Deep in the zone, almost 90, too much angle. Gonna gonna zero that run out, unfortunately. Too much angle on that. So we're gonna give it one more try here for today. It's all about trying to get back into competition mindset of running that perfect lead run for qualifying and for competition itself. of an e-brake drag than I wanted, but we are out in that zone. A little bit of tap of the brakes to control the angle. To get out to that zone a little bit better. Right in there, on that front clip, quick e-brake flick, throw that in really hard. Not the cleanest of runs to that last turn, but a run nonetheless. So let's take a look at those from the outside view. You go back to the start, take a look at these a couple of these runs here and see what we could maybe do better and stuff like that. I feel like the e-brake drags are a little bit too long in there. I don't believe this was exactly the first run I had. I believe this was may have been one of the practice runs. A little bit of wavering there. Somewhat of a smooth, smooth transition there, kind of on the second hash there. Throwing a hard angle there. Deep in that zone, right on there, and about the second hash there. So a little work to get, that was my practice run. So a little work to get where I want to get to. So here we go with the first actual one you guys saw. Hard initiation, not long in the e-brake, not as deep as I wanted to be in that zone. And coming through here, I was a bit shallow, a little bit wavering on my front wheels, which I need to correct. That was a pretty good deep zone there, right on third hash there. Quick hard flick, right deep into that zone and running that inside edge to the third hash, almost bumping that clip. The latter part of that track much better than the first part of that track for sure. So we're going to take a look at that second run. Oh, there we go. I need to work on my initiation. I need to not hold the handbrake as much. Tire dropping on initiation. This one's a little bit better, but we came off that zone way too much. We were able to kind of get out to that zone, but not as far as we needed to. 
hard transition there that was pretty good on that third hash a quick flick hard in there too much angle there we tried to go a little bit too much saucy on that one so let's take a look at that third and final run and then we're going to change up tracks like i said we're going to be doing a bunch of different tracks today trying to get back into that mindset that was a very wonky initiation double almost a double initiation too much handbrake drag need to fix that for sure we did get out to that zone a little bit more that transition, we did tire drop. We would have taken out those two clips. And we are on the third hatch there. Hard into there, deep into that zone. A little bit of wavering going to the last clip. Probably should have ran that a little bit wider. But, I mean, I would take it. I'd take it for a qualifying run. It'd probably get some points on the board. Hopefully it wouldn't have, uh, you know, zeroed me out with the little tire drop to those other two. So let's switch up tacks and uh, see where we're at now. All right, so we're here at Road Atlanta, the VDC Road Atlanta track. We're going to take this car for a rip. Kind of warm up the tires a little bit on the way to the line. So we want to try and get a good initiation and go through this whole course. Slum into fourth. Kind of the last standing cone. Oh, I should have gone down the third. Kind of angle stalled it out on that section. Kind of coming up the hill a little bit wonky, so definitely need a lot more practice in this car if I want to be able to run super clean. We're going to run one or two more here. But. Like I said, the cars will be coming out soon that we're actually be competing with. So then I will be choosing the car I want to run and going from there once the cars are fully announced. Oh, I'm going to shut that down because that was uh, a bad initiation. We're going to try one more try here. Road Atlanta, definitely a tricky track for me. You guys followed me in my fours of seven competitions and stuff you know road atlanta was a bit of a difficult track for me to get down with the downhill deceleration and stuff of that nature there we go it's a little bit better of initiation off that clip and a little bit sloppy through there but I believe it would have been a scoreable run until right there it would have been a scoreable run until we went off course so let's switch up to another track here for today just banging these tracks out trying to get back into the competition mindset all right, we're here for the third track for today. That is VDC's OSW, a track I've uh, come to know and love. Do love OSW for sure, but we're going to see how it runs today here in this Supra. Like I said, trying to get back into the competition mindset and work on those lead runs. So let's see what we can do here in this Supra OSW. Don't do that. Other than that kind of fault in the beginning, not too bad on the bank. Come off the bank. So other than the fault on the bank, not a terrible first run. Mind you, I don't have too much time in the Supra, so definitely gonna be doing a lot of work in the cars when they come out to find out which car suits me best and what car I'm gonna wanna drive. We'll be doing all the testing of all the cars here on the channel, of course, going into this new competition. Good on the beginning of that. Oh. oh, we're gonna have to shut that down. Unfortunately, that was not a good attempt on that run. 
trying to get high in that bank, but I think the gearing is a little bit off. We may have to adjust our gear ratios and stuff if we were to actually run this car. Cookie brake flick. Mid line. Clutch kick coming off the bank. Didn't get all the way out to the crease, but we managed to complete the run. So we're going to take a look at the outside view of these runs here at OSW. That supercharger just whining in the front of this car. Yep, yep, that was... Don't do that. That would be a false start. So the flick was good. We were pretty high on the bank in the beginning. Then we kind of fell off. Coming off the bank in the first run, we were pretty close on that clip. It was a bit of a smooth transition, no brake, just a quick handbrake grab, change direction, probably didn't have to handbrake drag that, and then kind of right in that crease where we needed to be to finish that run off. We would have punted that final clip, but I feel like that would have been okay. And for our second run, the one we shut down, we initiated way harder up on the bank, but fell off towards the end of the bank. And when we came out off the bank the uh, bank got us with the transition so unfortunately that was a null and void run come off transition kind of could not handle that the third and final run was a little better very mid to low run on the bank coming off we did manage the bump a little bit better the transition was pretty great on there and the clip there was decent but not terrible the inner bank was a little bit off the crease but we managed to bring it out at the end of the second run. So we are going to go run one more track here for today. Probably one of my favorite tracks other than Rockingham, which you guys know I run Rockingham a lot. And that is Irwindale. Very high speed, high bank, high reward track. So something that I've been practicing is trying to get these wall rides here at Irwindale. So we're going to take the super out for a lap or two here to end this episode off. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media and follow me in the endeavor of a brand new competition to the channel. More tandem battles and stuff coming. So competition prep and everything like that. Let's send it. I say send it. We send it really hard in the bank so <laughs> unfortunately we don't want to send it that hard we're gonna try and redo that start and get a clean run on that bank probably do my flick initiation rather than a handbrake initiation Quick e-brake grab, really mid, mid line on the bank, bringing it up towards the end. Too much sauce through that transition. Unfortunately, that run is pretty much null and void. So unfortunately, I love Irwindale. I've been running it a lot with the other Slyboy cars, but apparently got a little work to do in this Supra. And the new car is coming out, so we're going to give this one more go. It's going to be a make it or break it run. Much higher on the bank. Not the cleanest or deepest run, but a full pull nonetheless. So we'll take a look at that run. And from the outside to end this episode off, definitely a lot of work I need to do in order to get back into competition running style. Supra definitely handles fun and definitely a great car. Can't wait to see all the cars that are coming out. Mid to high line, about the first hash mark coming off the bank. Quick transition flick right on that clip. Pretty deep on that transition against that wall. The interbank was great in the middle. We kind of fell off the interbank a little bit, but we did pull it down to get to that clip. Eh, we would have straightened up almost right at the end of that run. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have you found in the description box below. And as always, thank you guys for coming back and watching. 
I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.